Hey! In previous videos you may have seen this tooth. Now what's amazing about this tooth is that it is from a Tyrannosaur. But I might have got the type of Tyrannosaur wrong. I have said in previous videos that this tooth comes from Albertosaurus. But I was looking at the description and this is what I found. It says Albertosaurus Libertus. And at the moment, there is no such thing as Albertosaurus Libertus. But there is Gorgosaurus Libertus. So technically, this tooth comes from Gorgosaurus. Now, from what I've seen, Gorgosaurus is not that different from Albertosaurus. And in fact, some paleontologists think that Gorgosaurus is actually just a different species. And from what I've seen, there's just a few differences with the teeth and skull bones. But apart from that, these animals are incredibly similar. So, who knows, maybe in the future, this description will actually be right. And this shows how difficult paleontology is. The reason is that some dinosaurs are being given new names, yet we already have the same types of dinosaurs. The reason why they're given new names is because they look different. Yet this could just be different growth stages within the same animal. But it does get slightly controversial. With dinosaurs like Tyrannosaurus rex and Nanotyrannus, some people believe that these are actually the same and that Nanotyrannus is just a juvenile version of T-Rex. The same can also be said for Triceratops and Tarvosaurus. Now, it's very difficult to say whether these are the same or whether they're not. And it's even more difficult when papers are yet to be published on these animals. This shows how difficult paleontology is because a large amount of evidence may show that two animals are the same. But then later on, some evidence might come along that shows that these animals are totally different. They are closely related, but they're not the same species. We will have to wait to see what the results are for dinosaurs like Nanotyrannus, but it is important to find whether there are too many dinosaur genus out there and whether there are actually some dinosaurs that belong into the same genus rather than giving it its own name. So dinosaur ontogeny is actually a very difficult part of paleontology that's being researched and we could get some amazing facts being found about Nanotyrannus and T-Rex and whether they are the same and with other types of dinosaurs within the Ceratopsian family or maybe even the Pachycephalosaur family. It's really interesting and it's important to know that some scientists do get a bit too excited when they find a dinosaur that looks a bit different and want to name things. So, hopefully in the future we'll have a better idea on what dinosaurs are that are newly discovered and maybe even some dinosaurs that we already have and what they really are. So I hope you like this, I hope you enjoyed it and hopefully it'll be interesting to find out what this tooth actually comes from and as always I hope to be making new videos soon. So I'll see you guys later.